Okay, so I want to give another shout out to um, to Louis uh, Salas, our sales. Um, he showed me this, and this is crucial. But if you go into keyboard control, which is on the um, MPC key 37, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he showed it on the, he, he had the 61, so it works on the 61 too. But if you turn it on and you go down, you'll see this when you first get in there, keyboard input. Of course, this changes if you transpose that. So that confused me at first. I was like, what? But if you scroll down to external keyboard routing and you set the routing. Now, it on his, I don't know if he set it here and it worked for him. Oh, yeah, it works there on the MIDI port. Okay, cool. Just making sure. But you set it for MIDI port. I'm just gonna leave it on MIDI port instead of doing MIDI. Um, and you leave it on. This is the key though. The keyboard sends MIDI here. So if you click this, cause it's not on, when you first get in there, it's gonna look like that and it won't work. I mean, actually it's working because I have this one on, but let me turn that one off. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, so this one doesn't work for me. If I just go MIDI port out, but if I turn on this one, I'm gonna turn both of these on just to be safe. So I don't have to do it again. If you close the screen now and you close this screen, cause before I couldn't do it if I had closed that screen. Yeah, now the MIDI works. So what that means for me is that I don't have to set up a MIDI track in here, which was kind of annoying anyway to have to do it. Every time you turn it on, you could just have your audio track your MIDI still works on your computer. I'm not gonna turn the camera just for this short video, but your MIDI does work on the computer. And I don't have to open this button over here. I don't have to uh, set up a MIDI track. That's gonna free up one, that's one less track that MPC has to uh, have to use and process, right? So that's kind of cool now, cause that means I can get in here and start playing my music. And just so you know that it does work, I'm gonna turn my speaker on. One second there. And then it's playing, but you don't hear it yet. And that could be because I didn't arm the track. Let me go in here and see if I did. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't set the monitor on. So I'm gonna set the monitor to auto. Multi-track record arm, gotta arm it. Beautiful. So I can go to any screen now and not have to worry about fiddling around with that. Uh, so I'm going to go in my template now and save my template with probably, you know, like at least one audio track and maybe one drum track. That way I could just do it all in one and not have to worry about it. And then that way my template has what I need. I can pull it up each time and... started right into making music and not have to worry about changing this setting hopefully this setting will stay the same and i don't have to go into it each time i turn the keyboard off that's something i'll find out uh actually we could do it now for what it's worth let's just go ahead and shut it down i'm gonna go ahead and restart it and we'll just see if it holds that setting for the keyboard because that's the setting i want always on because most of the time i'm gonna record stuff from midi and I have to go in and set that up every time I do it. Now, initially my template is set to go right into, um, while we're waiting on it to load, it's gonna go into a project where I have uh, a, this piano already. So what I'll have to do is just um, set this to an audio track right now, which I'll change this on a, when I update it. Looks like the multi-track is still on, which is good. And you can see it's stuck right now, having a moment. So I'll turn the multi-track back on. Got to turn the monitor on. There it is, it's working. And you can hear the keyboard is still working in the background. So I didn't go into control, I didn't have to do anything. 
So it looks like it remembers those settings, which are great. Now I'm gonna set it the way I want it to have an audio track, and then I can just play whatever I want. It should be good. All right, well, again, thank you, Louis Salas, our sales, and appreciate that. And that's a, that's a huge, huge uh, step in the right direction for me, at least, being able to do that and having the multi-track record on makes this uh, even better. It's just um, every day, it seems like it's getting a little bit better with the MPC key 37 for me and just the MPC in general. So yeah, 3.0 is definitely a welcomed uh, thing. Now it's going to make my uh, recording into the MPC and finishing something in the MPC so much better.